Welcome to Mint. I am Jacob Koshi. In today's edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by P. Manoj out of Bangalore, who is going to give us a lot more detail about the government's frantic efforts to continue securing oil from sanctions hit Iran. Welcome to the show, Manoj. Hi. Hi. So, uh, in my first, let, let me begin by asking you, what is the latest update in this in this continuing saga that involves the government, the Shipping Corporation of India, and uh, Iran? Well, I mean, India has been finding it extremely difficult to source crude from Iran, which is a very significant source of, you know, supply for India because of these sanctions. So, uh, I mean, in, in July, after the sanctions came into force, uh, MRPL, which is uh, India's biggest buyer of crude from Iran, has been able to get only one cargo from Iran. So, mm -hmm. out of an average of four that they were getting earlier. Yeah. So, one can say that, you know, the sanction has really hit India. Correct. And uh, to continue on this, what does this mean for the Shipping Corporation of India? Well, the Shipping Corporation of India has been a state-owned undertaking. I mean, the government can always requisition state Shipping Corporation to bring this in, an, in a crisis like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, what this means for Shipping Corporation of India basically is that, you know, they are also not um, in, uh, in favor of the cover provided by United India Insurance. They say it's inadequate. Mm -hmm. Having said that, you know, uh, if, 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 if they go to Iran, if the government requisitions the SEI and the SEI goes to Iran to bring crude, and if something happens, I mean, their balance sheet will be exposed to, you know, claims that will run into a few hundred crores. Great. You know, that is a, a downside that uh, the government will have to consider. So, and finally, Manoj, do you think uh, this, we, we, are, we, we could see some kind of a solution to this impasse between all of these parties? Well, uh, this this could be this could be because you know uh, given the fact that you know the private uh, ship owners are definitely not in favor. I mean, at least this could be a solution for the crisis. But uh, as I said earlier, there is a price for this. There is a price that uh, SEI will have to pay. I mean, if something happens, then SEI will be in big trouble. So clearly, there's lots more that's left to unravel in this saga. Thank you for joining us, Manoj, and for sharing your insights. Thank you. That's all we have in this edition from the newsroom. Keep watching.